If this is your first time visiting the channel, first of all, welcome, but this is probably not the video that you want to start with. If you guys saw the last video and you submitted a guess as to the origin of our mystery calf, you're about to get your answer. Probably about half of you guessed it right, which I was sort of surprised because it actually took me a little while to figure it out. Um, but basically, there were two schools of thought. A lot of you thought that maybe one of these butcher steers was not completely a steer. In other words, the banding didn't quite work or that maybe one of the steer calves that we had out here, um, you know, same deal. He wasn't all the way uh, castrated. And most everybody else thought, excuse me while I get these calves off of my side by side. You guys, what do you want here? I don't even get it. Most everybody else thought that um, number 13 was in the group of cows that escaped over at the winter pasture and got in with the neighbor's cows. Now those of you guys that thought that and remembered that, I'm pretty impressed that you could... Um, that you remember that far back because that was quite a while ago in fact it was about nine months ago and yes i think that is the answer to the question here when she was out with the neighbor's cows overnight she must have been in heat because the timeline adds up perfectly now how do i know that this is the case and that um you folks that guessed that we've got a, a bully steer here how do i know that you guys aren't right well the reason that i know that is because she was over at the winter pasture and there were no steers over there and there were no calves over there it was just her with these other cows and then when we do the math on the calendar everything just works out perfectly so i'm sure that that's what happened the question now becomes what to do with this little calf because like i said before we're really not set up for fall calves out here uh, things are about to get muddy things are about to, to change. These calves in the main herd here are about to get weaned off of their moms. And then I've got this one that's just a little over a week old now. So that really makes uh, management sort of difficult here. There's a few different things that I can do though. I could sell number 13 and the calf as a pair. I'm sure somebody would be happy to get them because they would be right on time with a fall calving herd. I can try to separate her here at the ranch and maybe feed her in with the uh, the weaned calves. That'll keep the little calf out of the mud and make sure that, that they uh, have a good chance to bond and stay together that way. Or what I'm most tempted to do, which is maybe the most risky, is I kind of want to send her and the calf back over to the winter pasture. The reason for this is because the ground over there is so sandy that it really doesn't get muddy and that would be a really good environment for that calf to grow up in. So why do I say it's risky? Well, because of the way things worked out. When she goes over there, she will be cycling again and she might be more inclined to want to break out of that pasture when she goes into heat to go looking for that bull. So we could just have the same scenario all over again, which I would like to avoid. Ideally, if I do end up keeping her, I'll probably just treat this calf as if it's like way early and we'll just sort of, um, just sort of run them all together. And then when the rest of the cows start having calves in March, this calf will just be a lot bigger than they are. But I think with a little bit of creative management, I could get her back on track. And I mean, she's a good cow. The calf is a heifer, so it might just be one to keep, which would make her uh, a few months older at her first breeding, which should make her able to deliver her calf for the first time that much easier. So there, there's some good and some bad either way we decide to go here. I'm not I still haven't really made a decision on what I'm gonna do, but I probably need to decide because cold cows are gonna go out this weekend. So if uh, she's gonna be on that bus, then, you know, I gotta make up my mind. 
And I especially like the guess about aliens coming down and impregnating her. Uh, really, there's no proof saying that didn't happen. So that, you know, we'll, we'll say that that's still a possibility. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out at the ranch with me today, guys. And I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.